Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Real Hooks at Outdoors. So, I've been doing a lot of bank fishing lately, and because I moved from Montana, a lot of my stuff is in storage, and I pretty much revamped my entire like bank fishing setup. So I want to show that to you guys today because I think it's really lightweight and it, re it works really well. So, here it is guys. This is my backpack. This is the Tactical Samurai Fish. I picked this up at Academy Sports for around 50 bucks. It has plenty of storage. It's super lightweight. So I'm gonna go ahead and break this thing open, show you guys what I carry and how I organize my stuff. So first of all, I keep my terminal tackle box right here in the front where it's easily accessible because I take that thing out a lot. All right, so in my terminal tackle, and by the way, this box actually came with the bag. They're, it comes with a couple of them. They're really nice boxes. So the reason that I use this box for terminal tackle, one, because I like the spacing in it, and two, because when I close this and I shake it up, all that stuff stays in the right place. And if you've been fishing for a while, you probably know that terminal tackle boxes can get really annoying when that stuff spills around everywhere. I'll have a couple things that'll come loose like this, like these skinny hooks, but really that's it. Everything else stays exactly where it needs to be. So in here, I've got swim bait hooks, I got worm hooks, I have jig heads, I have Ned rigs, shaky heads, tungsten weights, uh, worm weights, all that kind of stuff, guys. So make sure you guys keep this stuff organized and keep it handy because you're gonna be needing it. So after that, I have my tool pouch where I'll keep my wacky rig tools, uh, scales. Uh, normally I have a pair of pliers in there. I don't have them in there right now because I was using them for something. But this unstraps and folds out so it gives you really easy access just like that. So this is what the main pouch looks like. Typically I carry two boxes with me. Go ahead and pull those out. The first one is a topwater box box so the top water box i have whopper ploppers i have an i'm a skimmer i really like that bait i have frogs uh some other walking baits i have some poppers and a hula popper that's the main top waters i throw i don't take everything i own with me i think it's really important to only take what you need when you're bank fishing because you carry so much stuff with you you'll get fatigued it gets unorganized, it's hard to find stuff. So that's primarily what I take with me for top water. Next, I have my main lure box. So this box is gonna have everything from lipless crankbaits, uh, square bills, I have jerk baits, I more jerk baits. Um, let's see, I got deep divers, I got some rooster tails for pond fishing. Um, and then I keep some jigs and some uh, chatter baits in here as well. So that's mainly everything that I'm going to throw that's on a lure. I really don't throw anything else. Um, I have plenty of extra stuff, but I just don't see the point in taking it with me, like I said earlier. Well, after that, what I used to do was I would put all my soft plastics into one of those boxes. I don't do that anymore because I found out that those soft plastics have a softener in them. So if they're not in a bag, that softener will actually rub off and it'll warp your plastic boxes. It'll, it'll actually soften them up. So you don't want that to happen. In this pouch here, this is where I keep all of my soft plastics. So what I do is I fill them all in a gallon bag, just like this. So that way they're all compact. I have them all in there. I know exactly where they're at. I don't have to dig for them. It makes it really easy. Past that guys, there's one more pocket in here. So I'll actually keep these soft plastics out, the ones that are in the hard cases, just cause I, I don't want them to get all deformed. And uh, if you have them all smashed up, especially the swim baits, the tails can get messed up and you don't want that. Those things are expensive, so keep them nice. Same thing with these little guys, even the small ones, I just keep them in the hard case. Um, so past that, in the main pocket, I keep an external battery charger. This thing's a fast charger and also has a flashlight and a carabiner on it, so it's super helpful. If I don't have any more GoPro batteries or I need to charge my phone, you know, whatever the case may be. There is a third pocket in here. So this pocket right here, 
I usually just keep extra to line. And that's really all I use that pocket for. Sometimes I'll throw uh, GoPro accessories and stuff like that, like this little tripod. Um, so if I want to get like some uh, far away shots or, you know, anything like that, I'll throw that in there. But that's really all I use that pocket for. You can also throw a camel back in that back pouch where I put my soft plastics. But I think it's easier just to throw a water bottle in the side pocket. And then the other cool thing about this bag, there is a little band right here where you can actually put your rod right here so the reel would sit just like this. I'll actually grab my rod and I'll show you guys. So it would sit in there just like this and then there's a clip up here that clips it on. So you can actually have your rod clipped to your bag, which if you bank fish a lot, you probably know that's helpful because it's annoying picking them up, setting them down, picking them up, setting them down. I've even seen people forget their rods and have to run back for them. So definitely don't want to have to worry about that. That's the bag. And like I said before, it's lightweight. I think that's the big thing about it. It almost kind of forces me to keep it lightweight because you can't fit that much stuff in here, but you can fit what you need and a little bit extra. That's what is really important about it. You can always just throw your extra lures in the car that you take. I usually just throw some stuff under the seat of my truck. That way if I do run into a situation, I'm right there. I can just run over my truck and grab it out. This is the other thing I wanna show you guys. I don't always take this with me, but this is actually my uh, spinner bait case. And it's basically like a bait binder. So you open it up, you just flip through it. I think I picked this up at Walmart. So I'll usually throw like my spinner baits and my buzz baits in here because you don't want to try to stuff them into a box and then they get all bent up. And then I'll keep some trailers right here for them that I like to use. If I'm going to throw a spinner bait, I'll just go ahead and uh, throw a couple in my bag. But if it's going to be like a full day of me throwing those and I'm in a spot where I know they work, I'll take that whole case with me. That pretty much covers the bag. I got my spinner bait case, my soft plastics, my cases, my tools. Next thing I want to talk to you guys about is my rods. So like I said earlier, most of my stuff's in storage. So when I revamped all my bank fishing stuff, I went ahead and picked up a couple rods. So the first one is a Lose Xfinity from Walmart. Some people might laugh at it because it's a cheap rod. You can get it for like 50 bucks, but I'm telling you right now, this is like my new favorite spinning rod. It's a 6'6", medium fast. I got 20 pound braid on it. Here, let me get a shot of the specs for you guys. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. It's got the wind grips on it. It's got a great action. If you guys wanna see that rod in action, I mean, you're gonna see it in the future videos, but go ahead and look at my past couple videos because that's what I caught all my fish on. And uh, it's a really smooth, really sensitive spinning rod. The next thing, that I take with me is my Luz Mach 1 Gen 2 right here. And I got it paired up with the Quantum Accurist. Nice thing about this reel is it's got that flip setting. So you actually don't have to reel the action to get it to click over if you're flipping. Like if you're, you know, if you're going to flip docks or whatever, it's really easy if you flip that switch because as soon as you let go of the button, the reel stops. You don't have to worry about turning the action or anything like that. This is a 7.3 fast, heavy. I can use this thing for anything from jigs to frogs, uh, Texas rigs, anything I'm gonna fish around heavy cover. Um, it's just super handy to have. So I have two versatile rods that I use. And past that, honestly, you don't really need anything else. <laughs> I have a buddy, um, I'll put a link to his channel. Um, I've been on it a, a few times. We grew up fishing. And uh, he will take like all of his rods. His name's Tyler Frey, the Frey Experience. So I'll put a link to his channel just so you guys can see. Uh, he'll take like all of his rods with him when we're going to a pond or something. And it works. I just get annoyed carrying them around. I'm kind of a, you know, one rod guy. I like to be versatile and not have to take a lot of stuff with me. So that's my setup, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Try it out. Let me know if it works for you. If you guys have any tips for me, throw them down in the comments below. Um, if anybody uses this bag, let me know what you think about it because the bag I used was a Browning before this one. And I liked that bag 
but quite honestly, I think it was just too much. I think this one works really well. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be doing some more how to videos, some tip videos and, and stuff like that. And just sharing my knowledge with you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one, guys. Thanks.